Hi guys, I have four questions from you on stepwise regression algorithm. By stepwise, I mean unidirectional forward selection and backward elimination, and bidirectional stepwise including variance such as stepwise with some regressors fixed in. First question, in what instances would you choose the stepwise method over other methods? Well, avoid stepwise regression unless you are building a model for prediction where you have a ton of x's to choose from. Here, I might use stepwise to reduce the number of regressors and then use stepwise model as a starting point to build a model for prediction. Stepwise regression goes back to the work of F. Roymson in 1960, the reference is on the screen, and was useful in its day to address variable selection for regressors with a large number of x's. The stepwise algorithm was good in that it reduced the computing time to search among the linear combination of x's for the model for y. Computing speed was an issue then, but it's less relevant now. There are some attractive features of stepwise algorithm. One is its convenience. You don't have to think, just press a button on the keyboard, it's an automatic procedure. Two, it's quick. Load in the data, push a button and you get a model in the blink of an eye. But that's not really the end as you have to run diagnostic checks on the final model. Three, it's got built into it the idea of parsimony. This is the idea that smaller models are better for making predictions. If two models have the same fit, you choose a smaller one. Overall, the shortcomings outweigh the attractions and a number of authors recommend avoiding stepwise altogether. Other Others say take the final model as a starting point to build a useful model. Next question. Can the p-value be the judge of whether or not to remove a predictor? When running stepwise algorithm, there are two approaches for determining what goes in and out of the model at each step. One, you've got testing-based procedures like you've mentioned where you use a t-test or partial f-test groups of related regressors such as factors. Two, you've got criterion-based procedures which use some measure based on the fit and complexity of the model such as AIC, BIC, adjusted R-squared, Marlow CP. The criterion-based approach is recommended over the testing based approaches. For one thing, with so much testing over all steps, there's a high chance the final model excludes important x's include irrelevant ones. For forward selection, do we add variables one by one in order of their correlation, the outcome, and why are some statisticians against stepwise regression? I'll deal with the questions in order. I guess you mean partial correlation? No, it's not to do with that. Like I mentioned, you use the testing approach or the criterion approach in stepwise. Here you're talking about the testing approach, in which case the idea is to select the predictor with the lowest p-value for the t-stat of the individual significance or partial f-test that's below your criterion, typically 0.05. Note an x entering before others does not mean it is more important. For example, suppose we have two x's, x1 and x2, and that they're highly correlated, and both having a high correlation with y as well. One of them will enter first, say x1, but because of the high collinearity between the x's, the output is unstable, and if you add a new observation and rerun the procedure, you might find now that x2 enters before x1. I'm going you ask the second question. Reasons for avoiding stepwise regression. One, the most important drawback I think is there's no guarantee it comes up with a model that's useful for the research. Parameter estimates may be meaningless and the predictive performance may be worse than models using other methods. Two, it does not take into account of influential points at any stage. Three, stepwise regression assumes y is linear in the x's which isn't a reasonable assumption as it depends on what you are modeling. In other words, stepwise does not consider transformation on the variables or interactions which may be present. It comes up with one model and it's easy to think that this is the best one but usually a number of models can have similar fit and this has been pointed out by a number of authors which is on the screen. So if you wish to make these points in a dissertation, you may refer to any of the standard text listed on the screen. It's perhaps more convincing than telling the reader that Phil on YouTube said so and so. Stepwise seems a nice feature in SPSS. Now, stepwise is available in popular packages R, Stata, SAS, SPSS, Minitab and eViews. I don't think stepwise is nice though. It would be very handy to have a method where you press one button and all the work is done by the computer and in seconds you get a model that answers the aims of your project. If that were the case then of course some regression analysis could be covered in less than one hour and that I agree would be wonderful. Unfortunately this lazy way does not guarantee useful results though if you have half an hour to submit a project then you could cook up a model without thinking stepwise not recommended. You mentioned SPSS. SPSS gives only the testing option for variable selection which is less preferable than the criterion method. Other packages like R offers both. Okay that's very well writing off stepwise regression but what are the alternatives? One, if you are building a model to explain the relationship between y and x's, interpretation of the partial relationships between the x's and y is important. Use knowledge of the subject matter to guide choice of x's. Two, you're building a model for prediction. Well it will be the one that has the best predictive performance out of competing 
training models. You will use cross-validation to assess the predictive performance and one form of cross-validation goes like this. Split the sample into two, a training set for building the model and a validating set for testing the models. Stepwise regression could be tried here along with refinements of it and or other methods. If stepwise is no good, it won't win the prediction round and you'll just have lost a little time in running it. Okay guys, that's all I've got. This Q&A format seems to work better than the, for the newbie guy for regression. See you next time with answers to more of your questions. Thank you.